One, two, three, fuck it. It is a beautiful day outside today. It is 82 degrees, the first 80 degree day of the year. I thought that it was the perfect opportunity to take you all around with me where I grew up in Cincinnati in Northern Kentucky. Um, just a little side note, I live in Northern Kentucky, which is like five minutes away from downtown. So I'm basically a Cincinnatian and do not tell me any different. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys around to obviously the Cincinnati Staples, um, things that all the tourists like to see, and then I'll also take you around to the cool underground stuff that only locals like myself know. Uh, my name is Lauren, and I'm the new marketing coordinator and head of all of digital for KRNL. Um, I'm so excited to join the staff, and I'm so excited for this next semester, these next few semesters, hopefully. And yeah, um, I hope that you guys enjoy tagging along with me. Just a little side note before we get started, I brought gloves and a mask with me just in case I go somewhere that is a little bit crowded. So you guys may be thinking, this girl better not show me anywhere from Northern Kentucky because there's probably nothing there. And you know what, you're mostly right, but Northern Kentucky does have the only ventriloquist museum in the whole world. Um, just in this random neighborhood that I'm in. So right now we are in Over the Rhine or OTR in downtown Cincinnati. This is probably my favorite little section of Cincinnati. Um, there's so much to do here. Right now we're in Finley Market, which is a place where a lot of local businesses and local restaurants come to sell their food and sell their products. Um, it's such a neat little place. It's so colorful and the buildings are just absolutely beautiful and so unique. And um, yeah, I love it here. Covington on the Kentucky side of the river. Fun fact, I saw Zac, Zac Efron filming the Ted Bundy movie right down there on that corner. Um, we made eye contact, we fell in love, he proposed, and then, you know, it just didn't work out. But that was one of the best days of my life and it was so cool. So yeah, the Ted Bundy movie was filmed in these streets, if you rewatch it, it's the scene where he's jumping out of the jail cell, like the, he's like breaking out of jail and he jumps out of the window. here to the stairs where I usually walk up to get onto this bridge and go over to Smale Park over there by like the Red Stadium and the riverfront but someone locked it and closed it down so we can't do that but I'll show you guys like how pretty it is from a distance and is reminding you that nine one back in my car again and the next thing that I show you guys will blow your minds So when you go over the bridge coming back in from Cincinnati to Northern Kentucky, you see like this little silver thing off in the distance and it's actually this UFO house right here. Um, someone actually lives there so I don't want to get out and like be weird and film in front of them. But yeah, I just think that this is just a cool little place and it's on the Northern Kentucky side so another win 
for Northern Kentucky. So right now we're at McGlasson's farm, which me and my family have been going to since I was a little kid. I just found a cat. So Oh no! Aww. Your, your finger kind of looks like it's about to be in it. Something that I think is really cool about where I grew up is how it has a mix of both like country and rural stuff and urban city stuff so close together. So if you go like this way down Route 8 um, and you just drive for a while, all you see is like horses and cows and there's so many like beautiful farms and it's gorgeous. And then if you go this way, um, like 10 minutes, you're in Cincinnati already. And it's just, it's cool how it's so close together, but like right now I feel like I'm right in the middle of the country. But then 10 minutes from now, I'll be a city girl. I'm sorry about this angle. I'm sure it's not the most flattering, but I'm sorry, just get over it. So the last place I'm gonna take you guys to today is called Devu Park. Um, it's this little park in Northern Kentucky and it has a bunch of different hiking trails. I go running and biking back here a lot. And it also has a view of the Cincinnati skyline that's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna show you guys that too. So right back here, if you can see that stage behind me, is where, oh my God, there's a bee right there. Anyways, is where they hold like concerts and stuff during the summer. And me and my family used to come and bring our blankets and like set them up on the hill. And then they just have like random bands come every once in a while and it's really fun. And me and my friends have also gone sledding down these huge hills and yeah, it's just a fun place. Hey guys, so I'm back home now and I just wanted to say thank you for coming around with me today and seeing where I grew up and my favorite places around town. I had so much fun today. I should check out our Instagram at krnl underscore lf and the other videos that will be posted on this channel. Um, we're really, really excited. We have a lot of things in store for our video content and of course watch out for our next upcoming issue this fall. But again, thank you for letting me take you around today. Maybe someday I can take you on a tour when we can actually go in places and you guys can see what it really is like because this is an amazing place where I live and I'm very, very thankful, so. She's a Mona Lisa.